شرقها من شمالها إلى جنوبها أرضنا وحقنا ووطننا لا تنازل ولا تفريط بأي شبر أو جزء منها أنا يا عمي رحلنا على عمان الحكومة دي طرحة للذهان كان الزرع يطول نصبوا لنا خيام أعطونا مخيم بعد المخيم سوينا بركية والله هذا الشيء في يد الله سبحانه وتعالى ما هو في ايدي ولا في ايدك ولا في ايد غيره ولا غيرك هذا الشيء مقدر عند الله ومسجل في اليوم الساعة كيف بدنا نرجع ومتى ومتى نرجع يمكن سؤال في جيلنا في جيل الله اعلم كيف الله اعلم متى نرجع فالعلم عند الله سبحانه وتعالى وعبرنا عن هذا الموقف بكل تصريحاتنا احنا ما زلنا نناضل من اجل عوده عوده اللاجئين الى ديارهم وفق وفق القرارات الشرعيه الدوليه <تصفيق> One of the most persistent international news stories, the Arab-Israeli conflict, incredibly complex even after half a century, continues without any solution in sight. While terrorist acts bloody the Israeli civilian population, resulting in reprisals and blockades of Palestinian zones, millions of Arabs, made refugees for many generations, live in unhealthy and precarious conditions, unacceptable to the Western world, often only a few miles from their original homes. They are under the charge of UNRWA, an agency of the United Nations created 50 years ago and still active that now appears to perpetuate this dependence while their claim to the right of return, long made unenforceable due to the many years of conflict, has always been the first condition for peace. <laughs> هذا الجزء الغريب عنا إذا كنا غير قادرين الآن على أن نصنع انتصار حاسم باسترداد كامل الحقوق وهنا أميز بين الحل السلمي الاستسلامي المرحلي الذي يسمى يعني تسويات وبين الحل السلمي المبني على العدل الذي يعني عودة كل الأرض وعودة كل اللاجئين It's very difficult for a Palestinian, and I am a Palestinian and a loyal one, to say the right to return is no longer an issue.
But if politics is a human invention, it is men who have to suffer its consequences, following the example of history after five decades of bad blood, rejected by their new homeland and forced to substitute by desperation the pride of an ultranationalism which has continued for generations. But despite this ultranationalism, the world was shocked to see a radical Islamic wing, Hamas, win the Palestinian elections. By what mythology and by what ideological beliefs could this organization, known for its acts of terrorism, garner such a victory? These are essential questions whose answers could change the course of history and possibly the survival of two nations. The Palestinian people uh, they have been refugees for the past 55 years. Their plight remains uh, unsolved. This is a, a, a gross injustice. It is a, a, a travesty of, of, of the law. Ici, toutes ces races sont venues, qui sont multipliées ici en Palestine. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on est? Dieu sait que c'est. Les natures qui sont restées quatre siècles ici. De 1517 à 1917, ils ont fait un pays mort de tous les points de vue. In the 19th century, it was well known that the lands now claimed by the Palestinian community were utterly arid and barren. Mark Twain observed that they were lands of death, weeds, and desolation. About 63% of the refugees. Uh, from 1948 were rural Palestinians. They came from villages, they were peasants. So their lands, their farms, their factories, their banks, their, their businesses, they have to be restored, restituted to their rightful owners. طردتهم من فلسطين بالقوة والمذابح وارتكاب المجازر. On May 15, 1948, the Arab side immediately commenced a war against the Jewish state. At the uh, end of the war, several hundred thousand Arabs who lived in this territory and who had fled largely at the request or the ordering of Arab state populations to ensure that they would be able to finish off the Jewish state without any Arab victims were left as refugees. Our home was not taken over by the Israelis. No Israeli tank or platoon or soldiers came over and said, get out of here, you know, get out of here. You know, we want to take this house. The country was bisected by the war even without uh, Arab leaders encouraging uh, Palestinians to leave, uh, many might have left out of fear and indeed out of a certain belief that the Arab uh, armies will come out victorious from this war and they could come back to their land. But there were cases where uh, there was a policy of evicting uh, Palestinians who became later on refugees. Many more people left because they were told that in a few days, or at worst a couple of weeks, they would return with the triumphant Arab armies to take their lands back and have more than they ever had before. خيام مثل المعسكرات صار يمنع اللي يطلع واللي يجي ومثل السجن سجنونا The Arab governments were largely responsible for the ruin of the Palestinian Arabs. By exaggerating their hopes, they made them intransigent. By inciting a million Palestinian Arabs to leave their lands for neighboring countries, we have brought about their destruction. This is the problem how the Arab governments don't want, since 48 until today, don't want to solve the issue of the Palestinian refugees. 
Our leaders are the responsible ones, spreading rumors of massacres and atrocities committed by Jews. They distilled terror in our hearts until we ran, thus abandoning our homes to our enemies. I asked Dr. Khalidi how we should cover the story. He said, we must make the most of this. So he wrote a press release stating that at Deir Yassin, children were murdered, pregnant women were raped, all sorts of atrocities. We said there was no rape. He said we have to say this so the Arab armies will come to liberate Palestine from the Jews. This was our biggest mistake. We did not realize how our people would react. As soon as they heard that women had been raped at Deir Yassin, Palestinians fled in terror. They ran away from all our villages. Arab radio stations passed on the false reports, ignoring the protests of the witnesses. The Arab states encouraged the Palestinian Arabs to leave their homes temporarily to facilitate the passage of the Arab invading armies. Today, the Palestinians claim a right of return to lands that were subsequently built up and fertilized and rendered very useful by the state of Israel and they want to return to lands that do not resemble in any way the lands that they left. It's the most complicated process you can imagine because it touches all the neurologic center of the human mind and existence. It touches religion and memory and history and divergent interpretations of the past. Uh, it's, uh, it's just about everything. Arab regimes have been able to focus upon Israel, the antipathy and the anger of the Palestinian populations that ought to be directed much more rightfully against various Arab governments. Uh, it is important to realize also that the overwhelming hostility in the Arab Islamic world to the state of Israel is largely based on religion. 
فما ذكر بالقران هو الذي راح يصير يعني احنا وياهم صراع من هذا اليوم الدين باذن الله النصر سوف يطلع من داخل فلسطين احنا باذن الله سوف نحرر انفسنا حتى لو استشهدنا كلنا كفايه ان نكسب الجنه كفايه ان نكسب كرسي في الجنه لانه الاسلام والعرب عندنا ضاعت يجب على الاسلام ان يظهر من جديد يجب ان تصحو الاسلام من جديد ويرعى في قلب الشباب من جديد بكف انه الله هو اللي واقف معنا احنا بكف انه الله اللي واقف معنا احنا قاعد الطفل عندنا بيطلع الدبابة وبحارب دبابة حق العودة هو حق مقدس غير قابل للمساومة كثيرين يقولون انه في تعويضات اقاويل كثيرة ظهرت في السنوات الماضية بعد اتفاقيات اوسلو توقيع اتفاقيات اوسلو التي ابرمت مع العدو الصهيوني اتفاقية اوسلو هي عملية هي تنازل كبير عن حق الشعب الفلسطيني في ارضه وفي وطنه نحن جيل الشباب الفلسطيني المشتت جميعنا يعني عنده اجماع على العوده الى فلسطين كامل فلسطين من النهر الى البحر The definition of a refugee is rather problematic. When it comes to trying to understand why you have this situation whereby the sons and the, and the, and the grandsons and the grand-grandsons uh, continue to be defined as refugees, well, there is a lot of confusion here. Of course, هذا في شيء الكلام يعني في أي شيء يعني هذا شيء حق طبعا ولدت طبعا هان في المخيم مخيم جبالي 75% de la population de la bande de Gaza ce sont des réfugiés celui qui a maintenant 25 35 ans et qui est né dans un camp il est d'ici demandez à quelqu'un de Ragnonis Mohayam du du camp de de Ragnonis il va dire je suis de Ragnonis puis vous lui dites mais oui mais tu es d'où on aura le village d'origine mais les jeunes qui sont nés là ils sont d'ici أنا من بلد باربرا. حابب ترجع باربرا؟ نعم. عمرك شفتها؟ طيب مين حكى لك عليها؟ بابا. طيب احكي لي أبوي حكى لي عن بلادنا وهيك. بابا حكى لي عن بلادنا باربرا. l'exil. Je suis dans un camp de réfugiés palestiniens. J'ai rêvé toujours de retourner en Palestine. Dans ce pays-là, la Jordanie, j'ai une maison, une grande maison, j'ai beaucoup de privilèges. On a eu aussi euh, la nationalité française, mais Si on, on a le droit de retourner, on va retourner. Et tout ce qu'on a ici, on peut l'avoir en deuxième pays, en deuxième maison. Mais la maison originale, ce sera notre pays d'origine, Palestine. Initial number of Palestinians who were expelled in 1948 uh, were 805,000. During the last 55 years, that number has uh, multiplied. Uh, to this uh, approximate six, six million. All we need is an outsider, Muslim cleric, so sort of doing Yahoo, making a living, becoming a professional right of return promoter and, and inflating numbers. Refugees have been living off uh, welfare rather than be rehabilitated by the international uh, agencies. It was an advantage of sorts to have the numbers maintained because you could get assistance by perpetuating the status. For 20 years, the biggest refugee camp in the Middle East was under the Mount of Temptation near Jericho, the refugee camp of Aqaba Jabba. And it had about 20,000 people and for 20 years, they didn't have a single death because they didn't want to lose the rations. So they buried their dead at night. I 
région, dans l'ANSRET. Nous prenons en charge 4 millions 000 réfugiés dans la région. Nous sommes un service public, hein, un service d'éducation, l'école, service de santé, les travaux publics, ceci avec un personnel de 22 000 employés. ستستمر للاجئين في داخل المخيمات وللاجئين في خارج المخيمات. Well, UNRWA was founded in 1950 after the first Arab-Israeli war. It was set up as a separate uh, refugee agency uh, that is separate and apart from the UN High Command on Refugees. It is truly the only agency that is dedicated to one refugee people and that does not come under the UN High Command. It started when the Arab governments refused to allow any of these individuals to settle permanently uh, in, in Arab lands. What has happened uh, is that UNRWA has taken it upon itself to interpret its mission uh, to continue the life of the refugees inside the camps. UNRWA's definition of a refugee is somebody who lived in Palestine two years before he was expelled, which is not very convincing. They have been refugees from uh, the Balkans, refugees from Central America, Guatemala, refugees from Rwanda and the, the Great Lakes region and, and, and other parts of the world in, in, in the former Soviet Union when the former Soviet Union collapsed. All these refugees uh, were afforded the right of return. There are people in a protracted refugee problem in Africa in particular, problems that have not been resolved for many years. The Afghan refugee problem is uh, one of the biggest in the world. And then there are a large number of uh, people in the former Soviet Union who are stateless, people who, after the breakup of the Soviet Union, could not fit anywhere in any of the countries that came into existence. The problem of the Palestinians is not only with the Israelis, it's also with the UN itself. Israel was created with the full authority of the United Nations. Ironically, however, the United Nations today has turned against Israel in so many ways, and the reason for this is the group basis of the United Nations structure. As much as we are hoping that the UN will treat the refugee problem seriously, we only kid ourselves, because the UN is basically a political organization. The Arab League needs the refugee problem in order to maintain its cohesion against Israel. If you visit Gaza, there is a whole neighborhood, Sheikh Radwan. In the early 70s, Israel started to settle refugees in decent houses, built by Israel's civil administration, and there was a whole campaign by the PLO and the others to prevent the refugees of going and living in these, uh, in these houses in Sheikh Radwan. So it is very, very clear that uh, there was no interest in any kind of interim solutions because this was the dynamo of uh, the national Palestinian movement. Since 1971, and for close to 10 years, the UN General Assembly condemned Israel every year for its attempt to rehabilitate the Palestinian refugees. This condemnation always carried one requirement, send the refugees to the camps. I don't think that UNRWA really would like uh, to solve the issue of the refugees, because that issue, if it is going to be solved, then tens of thousands of employees from UNRWA will be jobless people. This is not a new debate uh, that organizations, administrations, tend to perpetuate themselves. And by perpetuating themselves, they perpetuate the problem they are in charge of. <laughs> UNRWA would like to continue feeding, yeah, taking care about food, taking care about health, taking care about cleaning, about education, forever, forever.
تتعامل في المسائل السياسية ولكن طالما بقى الوضع على ما هو عليه فإن الأنروا ستستمر في تقديم مساعداتها الإنسانية ومساعدات الإغاثة للاجئين الفلسطيني It is a political issue because when there is no peace between Lebanon, as an example, and Syria, these governments try to take the refugees as a strong card in their hands, threatening all the time the Israelis that if you are not going to do so and so, we will do so and so. I already have been in several refugee camps outside in Lebanon, in Syria, in Jordan. And you couldn't believe how these people are really living there for so long time. I'm a Palestinian in Lebanon. For example, there are a few people who don't enter the hospitals because they're Palestinian. There are a lot of people who work in the work, there are a lot of Palestinians. They don't let me work. Are the Syrians better than us? The people of the country. We have a new education that we can learn, but also in the work. The education is all in the work. The work that one wants to get out and go to the work in the work, but we can't get out of the work until we get out of the work. So all this, if we don't pay for this country, we don't pay for it. فنحن هون كلنا يعني كل شباب مقيم شتيرة نتمنى إنه يرجع على فلسطين يعيشوا معيشة أحسن من هون. They were the subject of a cynical abandonment by their people, their brethren and the international community. يا عم الفلسطيني اللي برا ناخد جميع حقوقه. إحنا هون ما إن حقوق. يعني الواحد بيتخرج دكتور ممنوع ممنوع يعالج برا. صيدلي ممنوع يفتح صيدلية برا. بالبلدية ممنوع يتوظف اللي هي يعني شغلة زبال ممنوع يتوظف بينما برا الفلسطيني بيأخذ جميع حقوقه وغير الحصار اللي معمول علينا إلا أن مخيم غزة لا يحمل هذه الخاصية وهي أنه لا يحمل الجنسية الأردنية لا يحمل جوال السفر الأردني لا يحمل رقم وطني كل ما يستطيع أن يملكه هذا المواطن في أفضل حالاته أنه يحمل جوال السفر الأردني مؤقت حتى الرقم الوطني بسموه بعض الناس رقم الشخصي إلك رقم الشخصي والملكاش رقم الشخصي هناك فئة أقل نسبيا تحمل وثائق سفر فلسطينيه صادره عن الحكومه المصريه. وهناك فئه اقل بكثير وهي محدوده نوعا ما، فئه من الناس لا تحمل اي اثبات جنسيه، لا جواز السفر الاردنيه مؤقته ولا وثائق سفر فلسطينيه، انما هي بدون اي اثباتات. فلذلك هي تعيش خلينا نسميه تحت بند بدون. The refugees were kept in the camps because to give that up is to give part of the Palestinian claim. In the process, of course, they suffered. And in the process, they also suffered so much, they went to the extreme a little bit, and they became the people who fought for Arafat and volunteered and did the various things they did on behalf of the Palestinian cause. You put somebody in a tent for about 20 years in, in conditions where he hasn't got clean drinking water, and this is the situation in many of the camps, and he's going to become an extremist. And the Arabs took a united position on this. You know, we're not going to settle the Palestinian issue and by giving up the right to return. So the refugees were kept on these camps. They were kept there as what? As a bargaining point. يجب أن نعود إلى طرح فلسطين واحدة من النهر إلى البحر. Unfortunately, the Arab governments don't want to take any responsibility on these refugees, and they consider them as a, not a permanent residents, but residents on a temporary basis. That one day these people must have to go back to their homeland. 
clearly this is um, a consistent with what the Palestinian Authority and what Yasser Arafat has been about since day one. Uh, they have ultimately said that we cannot ever give up this alleged right of return. Uh, and in, in, in fact, what the alleged right of return is, is a way to do away with the right of the state of Israel to exist as a Jewish state without even lifting up any arms. There are several bodies of international law which guarantee a right of return. It's a fundamental human right. Uh, in the United Nations resolutions refer to it as an inalienable right. UN Resolution 194, another source of conflict and discord, actually gives a recommendation in its Article 11. The refugees wishing to return to their homes and live at peace with their neighbors should be permitted to do so at the earliest practicable date, and that compensation should be paid for the property of those choosing not to return. This 1948 resolution was never applied, not because of Israeli opposition, but due to the unanimous rejection by the Arab governments. This text effectively addressed the subject of Middle East peace, implicit recognition of the state of Israel, and compensation for Jewish refugees as well. Uh, we have studies and well-researched studies which show that uh, it is possible for the Palestinian people to return quite easily without causing any disturbance or, or friction or inconvenience as it were to most of the Israelis who live in, 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 in Palestine. On dit que les réfugiés sont temporaires et ont le droit de rentrer. Maintenant, il est clair qu'il se pose un problème vis-à-vis -vis de l'État d'Israël qui ne veut pas le retour des réfugiés. Mais il faut être aussi, je veux dire, il faut être réaliste. The Israeli state is a fact of life. For them to accept hundreds of thousands or millions of refugees would uh, dilute, if not eliminate, the nature of the Jewish state. Nous savons que la terre des Palestiniens peuvent euh, euh, obtenir tout, tous les Palestiniens avec les Juifs. Et aussi, euh, il y a des Juifs qui peuvent retourner chez eux, d'où ils sont venus. Il y a des Juifs qui sont venus de la Russie, de l'Éthiopie, de Pologne, de tous les pays européens. Elles peuvent retourner chez eux. إلى بيت دجن وإلى كامل فلسطين والله مش بس أبنائي أبنائي وأحفادي وكل ما يمكن أن يمت إلي بصلة يعلمون بأني من بيت دجن ومن فلسطين سنة 1948 ولا بد لنا يوما بالعودة بالعودة الأكيدة إلى وطننا وإلى محتلنا وطرد الغاصب وطرد اليهود كل يوم من أرضنا فنحن على هذا الأمل لذا أنا عايش على هذا الأمل وإن شاء الله أبنائي سيكون من خلفي يعيشون على هذا الأمل. الله يحرمها عيون إسرائيل الله يحرم إن شاء الله بيرجعوا يتشتتوا إن شاء الله بيصير هو مثلنا إلهي. On doit avoir la récompense et on doit avoir notre pays Palestine. The Palestinians should have to realize. That the right of return is considered as a danger security on the state of Israel. And the Palestinians must have to negotiate the Israelis on the very low profile in terms to solve the problem. Est-ce que tous les réfugiés vont retourner dans leur village? Ils vont retourner où? Dans leur tête, c'est un territoire rêvé, un territoire mythique qu'ils ont. كل مواطن الفلسطيني يرجعوا المواطنين الاسرائيليين الموجودين هنا نحن سيد عزيز فلسطين هي مساحتها 27 ألف كيلو متر من نهر الأردن حتى البحر المتوسط هذه مساحة كاملة نتمنى عودتها إلى الشعب الفلسطيني 
ونعيش الاسرائيليين تحت ظل الدوله الفلسطينيه وليسوا هم اصحاب السياده لا نرغب بذلك بارجاعهم الى الدول اللي حضروا منها ولكن ان يعيشوا في ظل الدوله الفلسطينيه The very recognition of the right of return says A you expelled B this is not your house they have a right to come back now for practical reasons they can't come back but you have recognized that uh, your country your state was born uh, in sin Il y a aussi la volonté de pouvoir retourner au lieu des origines et au moins ce droit là de retourner et d'aller voir قبل سنوات كان بسهولة بإمكانه أي شاب يروح على سفارة إسرائيلية هون في عمان يأخذ فيزا ويسافر على إسرائيل كان الصهيون عفواً كلمة إسرائيل حرام الواحد كده صحت لأكثر من فرصة إني أنزل بس ما بنزل بنزلش لما تكون محررة كاملة من النهر إلى البحر هدول الأطفال زهرة نابعة من جيل جديد لفلسطين وعرائي المثل طول ما الولاد ابتلت في أطفال وفي رجال بإذن الله فبتمنى المصري يجي منهم هذول الشباب هو بإذن الله الشعب الفلسطيني أطفال فلسطين أشبال فلسطين والرايح يجي النصر منهم من هؤلاء الأطفال الذين ترون أمامكم بإذن الله بإذن الله بإذن الله أن يكبرون في وضع ظل هادئ في هذه البلد ويحررون فلسطين لآخر شبر واطردوا العدو الصهيوني إلى خارج البلاد العدو الوحيد لنا لن نقبل بالعدو الصهيوني ولن يقبل أي طفل من هذه الأطفال بالعدو الصهيوني في هذه البلد نظرة للحياة أنه هذا الجيل كله بكرة ينتقل من الشعب الصهيوني This sense of a right of return uh, is being furthered uh, by UNRWA in terms of the, uh, the education system inside the camps that UNRWA administers L'UNRWA a à peu près 200 000 élèves dans ces écoles ici à Gaza. Nous nous occupons des réfugiés. L'autorité palestinienne s'occupe des non-réfugiés. Il y a des polémiques régulières euh, au sujet des livres scolaires euh, qui contiennent des connotations euh, euh, dites antisémites. If you look at some of the textbooks um, that are being used in these schools, uh, it uh, completely denies the existence of the State of Israel through math problems, through maps, anything that they can to make sure that the Palestinian students uh, know that there is no right of a Jewish state Israel to exist. You know, between France and Germany, we have had these wars, these three wars, we have found some of the same types, the horrors on the Germans, the horrors on the French, the horrors on the Germans. The French are the French, the French are the French. I don't think there's any question um, that UNRWA and its responsibility of making sure that education is delivered of students, that textbooks are, are available, and approving the curriculum that is, that is used, that they are furthering uh, this, this myth, uh, this alleged right of return. That has helped, uh, you know, uh, create an environment where individuals inside these camps um, have refused to ever accept Israel's right to exist because they feel that uh, that is contradictory to their alleged right of return. We are not the end of the day not in a few dollars or in a few passports. If this topic we took from the time we took these dollars and took the passports and now in a European country we are living. Do you understand how? That's why we are still in the discussions we are responsible for our own citizens ومتمسكين بقضيتنا الفلسطينية وما زلنا الناضل يعني حتى هاي اللحظة. We speak English. When we start to organize, it will be the beginning of the Israeli worry about the future. والمعلوم أن ميزانية الأنر والعادية تعتمد على تبرعات طوعية من الدول الأعضاء في الأمم المتحدة ومنظمات أخرى وكذلك هناك حاليا مساعدات طارئه تقدمها الانروا للاجئين واحيانا لغير اللاجئين منذ اندلاع انتفاضه الاقصى The annual budget of UNRWA is 400 million dollars. The US pays 25%. Not one Arab oil producing country participates except as a symbolic member. The Israeli assessment goes directly to UNRWA, but without crediting Israel for this contribution.
I believe that the offices, the furniture, the cars, the flights, the salaries, it's much more than 50% of the $400 million, which UNRWA said that it is spending it on a 4 million Palestinians. Chaque employee de l'UNRWA bénéficie de ce qu'on appelle en anglais un provident fund, c'est-à-dire une sorte de fonds de garantie pour sa retraite, qui est alimenté par les cotisations des employés, mais surtout par les cotisations de l'UNRWA comme employeur. Cet argent est investi en actions et en obligations. C'est un système qui, qui je dis, est assez unique dans son genre. Et les employés de l'UNRWA, de ce point de vue, sont privilégiés par rapport aux autres. Quand ils partent en retraite, ils touchent un capital. All of Africa, you can feed in such a huge amount of money. We, for example, assist up to 20 million people around the world at a budget of about 1 billion dollars. Je peux vous tranquilliser, euh, les fonds vont bien à ceux auxquels ils sont destinés. We in the U.S. Congress have attempted to, to force an accounting of the expenditures, have tried to bring to light some of the transparency issues uh, in the funding and expenditures in UNRWA and have been unsuccessful in doing so. This is a very difficult thing for, I think, U.S. taxpayers to even understand because it's almost like the U.S. taxpayer dollars are going to fund an organization uh, that is not only turning a blind eye, but in some cases aiding and abetting terrorists uh, who are conducting operations, killing uh, innocent uh, civilians uh, in the state of Israel. In 2002, a number of UNRWA employees were arrested by Israeli security forces when they were caught using their safe conduct passes or their UN passports to take part in terrorist activities. These activities were mostly the transportation of arms and explosives to be used by suicide bombers. طبعا هذه المنطقة هي الحدود مع مصر والجيش الإسرائيلي بيقوم بدوريات على طول هذه الحدود ومنذ انتفاضة الأقصى كان هناك في العديد من الحوادث دخل فيها الجيش الإسرائيلي إلى مناطق السلطة الفلسطينية في عدة أماكن من مخيم رفح على طول الحدود ودمر العديد من المنازل دعا الإسرائيليون إنه عدة حوادث لإطلاق النار تطلق من هذه البيوت على القوات الإسرائيلية وإن هناك أنفاق تحت بعض المنازل تمر من تحت هذه المنازل إلى الحدود المصرية لتهريب الأسلحة وغيرها من الوسائل القتالية هذا حساب ادعاءات إسرائيل The evidence uh, was, uh, became clear after the 2002 raid on the camp of Janine by the Israeli Defense Forces. Uh, and the evidence on turn there uh, clearly showed that uh, the UNRWA was helping uh, administer Janine as a refugee camp, uh, but in the process was also turning a blind eye to the terrorist activities emanating from that camp. I didn't, I didn't. العالم الديمقراطي يقول عن الأعمال الاستشهادية إنها إرهاب لكن أنا لا أقبل هذا أنا مختلف مع هذا لأنه يعني كيف يمكن أن نسمي ما يقوم به شاب صيفي مقتبر عمر يضحي بنفسه هل يجوز أن نسمي هذا إرهاب يعني حينما إنسان يضحي بنفسه هل هذا يجوز أن يسمى إرهاب؟ هذا يضحي بنفسه من خلال العدوان الواقع عليه 
فهذا ليس ليس ارهاب انا مع ذلك انا لا اوافق على هذه الاعمال لانها لا تثير في مصلحه تبعد تعاطف العالم الديمقراطي عنه UNRWA um, has, has clearly uh, facilitated uh, other terrorist organizations such as Hamas, which essentially control the unions, uh, the teachers' unions, the clerical unions, and others which administer these camps. Uh, I don't think there's uh, any way one can separate the activities of UNRWA and the terrorist uh, organizations. After a June 2003 vote where 80,000 individuals voted, the Islamic bloc representing the terrorist group Hamas gained 23 of the 27 trade union seats. A London article in Philistine Al Muslima, a Hamas magazine, congratulates itself while calling for the continuation of jihad. This is also another reason why UNRWA should have to be closed one day. Because who knows that in the coming, you know, tens of years, maybe also. UNRWA will become a religious organization rather than it is a humanitarian one and that will be the tragedy of the whole world, of the whole refugees in the world. The United Nations Relief and Works Agency has done more harm to Palestinian populations than perhaps any other United Nations element in the region. In fact, huge monies have been extorted and illegally appropriated by various Palestinian Authority agencies. During their 10-year reign, Arafat and the PLO reached a level of corruption unequaled by any other leader in this region, a region where corruption is so rampant. During this same period, more than 50% of the Palestinian population was living under the poverty level. Asked about their choice, a majority of the voters who opted for Hamas stated that they were casting their vote not only for Islam and the destruction of Israel, but also as a protest vote against the PLO regime and its corruption. Where is the money of the Arabs? Where is the petrol of the Arabs? Where is the pressure of the Arabs? Where is the word of the Arabs? How can they treat with all of the Eastern people, with the foreigners, with the United States, with the France, with, with Germany? We have money. So if we have money, we have power. Where is the power of the Arabs? The Palestinian Authority leaders still have, you know, the same mentality of the Arab culture, uh, that they are dealing very toughly with their people. Look at what happened after the Palestinian Authority came to the territories. The reason things turned into a mess is because what the Palestinians needed were managers. They didn't need anybody going around, you know, V for, what, what victory? <laughs> Where did the victory come from? I haven't heard anything about victory. It hasn't changed my life. And there are many things in my life that can be changed, that would be changed if we had peace. La bande d'Arafat et l'argent, vous savez, ils en ont bien profité. On ne peut pas nier la corruption qu'il y avait eu. He should have put managers in place, he should have put technicians in place, he should have put other people in place. But no, 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 no. Just like all dictators and Arab leaders, you put the people who are loyal to you in place. Whether they know anything about the subject or not is immaterial. I think that our rule is how to raise awareness among the Palestinian people on what's going on. Because we are people who believe that democracy is not created by leaders. Democracy should have to be the decision of the people themselves. People has been tortured inside the Palestinian Authority detention center. Journalists were arrested for a long time, were beaten. We know about several Palestinians who were executed by the Palestinian Authority. I'm not going to
ايش بتوصل هذه عاد اتمنى فيها وصل ولادي ولا ولادي ولادي لا بوصح حالي بس ساكن ولادي ولا تشتري من In the last uh, survey, which made by a Palestinian organization, 74 of those refugees who are living outside preferring to get compensation rather than to come back. In fact, if you had come to the Palestinians and said to them, okay, fellas, you can go back to Israel and live there under a Jewish state, I think most of them would say, no, thank you very much. I don't want to go back and live under a Jewish state. I would rather live in the Lebanon or Syria or Iraq or Jordan or any other place, an Arab state. They want to live with fellow Arabs. So long as that right of return exists, uh, and so long as people believe uh, in the Palestinian communities that that exists, there will be a, a, a virtual impossibility for peace to develop. Uh, so, um, you know, the, the individuals inside of these camps, some of whom want to return to a life of normalcy, are unable to do so. مع كل الشرفاء هم الذين أجبروا الاحتلال للانسحاب من قطاع غزة وأن هذه الحشود الكبيرة من العسكريين من أبناء كتائب الشهيد عز الدين القسام سيبقون بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى يحملون البندقية ويحملون سلاحهم حتى تحرير كامل التراب والمقدسات والوصول إلى كامل الحقوق المشروعة الفلسطينية أن أو لإسرائيل أنها, أنها يعني لها حق في الوجود مر علينا احتلال روماني في هذه المنطقة وفارسي وصليبي ومر علينا احتلال بريطاني وانتهى العدو الإسرائيلي ليس جزء من المنطقة لا هو جزء من تاريخها ولا جزء من جغرافيتها ولا من عقيدتها ولا من شو أنت تدخل الأرض المحتلة عنت من أربيك أنك في منطقة منعزلة If the Palestinian people are not going here to withdraw from a such kind of demand then the all Palestinians will continue sacrificing themselves for the so-called dream right of return. So I would like to see one Palestinian leader to come directly, publicly, clearly to the Palestinian people, to the refugees in Lebanon, in Syria and in Jordan by saying, please forget it, forget it, forget it. اولا حماس غير مندهشه حماس لم تسقط على قطاع غزه والضفه الغربيه من القمر حماس موجوده في داخل المجتمع وتعرف ماذا في راي الشارع وفي ضمير الشارع وماذا يريد الشارع هو يقول انه القرار هو قرار حماس وهذا تجني حقيقي على حماس وتجني على الشعب الفلسطيني We want to have a normal life in everything like any other country in this world. I think that the Palestinians already start sacrificing themselves since 55 years calling for the right of return and we are just losing ourselves more and more. So this is the time that the whole Palestinians, the refugees and the non-refugees must have to stand up by saying, okay, let us close this fight.